So hey guys, I'm Imtiaz. My YouTube channel name is Imtiaz Vlogs. So today I'm reviewing the 2021 Audi Q7 55T FSI Quattro. So we are going to review the car. Let's start. But before that, thank you so much for 10k subscriber. Let's start the review. <laughs> We are at the front of the car, so let's turn on the headlights first. So I'm gonna go inside and then just foot on the brake, press the start button. There you have the lights with the hazards. This is for the high beam and the high beam off, high beam, high beam. There you go. It's for all the lights to be on. So soft door close. So there. So these are the optional matrix LED. So first they give the LED lights. Then you have these, the matrix LED. Then it's the laser light from Audi the first time at the Q7. So you have the daytime running lights inside the hazards, swiping like every single Audi car. Headlight washer over here, same as the paint color. You have the light over here with the high beam. And this is the matrix LED. You could obviously get the laser, uh, the laser lights, but that is an option. So contact with Audi Taka. Down here, you have the bumper over here to get cool inside for the radiators and you have multiple sensor over all side so this is the black pack so you can see the grill has black all the way here that all the way goes then the number plate slot with a sensor over here sensor over here sensor over here and the quattro written with the huge audi logo wow then you have the diffuser and the vent open to get cool inside for cooling the engine and when you turn off the car it's going to close wow now let's show you what's under the hood so guys now let's open the hood of the car so first you have to do it from here there you go the hood is open soft door closed it's going to do the work so first you have the opener over here so there and there you go the hood is going to open with the hydraulic struts so this is a three liter v6 turbo injection with the engine so you can see you have the engine cover from audi you can't actually see anything engine cover and it's a 3 liter v6 and the uh, yeah, actually real cc is 2995 so it's technically a 3 liter or a 3000 cc as we say in bangladesh so over here if you get the plug-in hybrid version it's still a 3 liter v6 with the uh, electric motor but this is the turbo charge i mean not the turbo charge the turbo injection yeah so now get a close view of the engine <laughs> engine is 340 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque or 500 newton meters so it has the same amount of torque as the mercedes-benz gle 450 formatic plus that i did the review it's going to be at the pop out banner so it is a full uh, petroleum engine but that had eq boost so it has more horsepower from this engine and it is fully all-wheel drive with the h-speed transmission but the problem is i can't get the hood down it's the same thing that i have to do from the with the prado so just jump up and then close it there you go hydraulic struts it's going to do the work and the windshield wiper fluid is also over there with the blue color cap there and then now let's close the engine bay so there there and then boom done so guys now let's show you the interior so guys now we are at the interior of the car so let's show you the most important thing about the interior the infotainment system so for that first we have to start the vehicle so foot on the brake the start button is here for every uh, new audi this is the 2021 obviously so let's start the vehicle there you go the vehicle has been started you can see it's telling me wireless charger because my phone is currently on the wireless charger so it reminds you for that so first let's show you the infotainment system this is the all new infotainment system from Audi. I really love this infotainment because it's only a touch screen. So first you have car over here. It has uh, haptic feedback. So whenever you touch it vibrates and stuff. So first you have Audi drive select. So over here you have the drive mode like off-road. You have 
on all road then you have this is like for the fuel economy and stuff then you have the comfort auto and dynamic i actually love the dynamic and this car this car is at air suspension so you can see over here is for the right height of the vehicle so if we go over here this is going to go all the way lowered so the car is changing its right height that we're going to show you a little later so if we go back you have car details over here this is for the stuff for the car like when you go off-road and stuff you need to know a lot of stuff then you have climate control over here you can control from here and here too. Go back. You have lights and vision because this car has ambient lighting. So if you go on background lighting, you have the ambient lighting. So the ambient lighting has to be turned on. So let's get the brightness to the maximum there. And there you can see the ambient lighting over here is on over the door panels. Wow that you guys can see we're going to show you the ambient lighting when we go on the doors and stuff so if we go one more time back one more you have your parking ads your drive uh, assist you have your seats because you have heated seats as standard then if you go over here this is for your settings and service you have radio on this car so wait let's show you first this then let's go you have media like Bluetooth, you have telephone with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have navigation, obviously, you have radio, you have settings, you have help, and the user. Over here, you have your message. So if you go on radio, this is for your radio. This is for your full Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This is for your telephone and stuff like Bluetooth. This is for the navigation of the vehicle. Right there. There you can see the earth. There. And then there. Infotainment is very nice from Audi. Really good job. So guys, now let's show you this part. So this is for your full climate control. So if you just press over here, you can see switch on climate control. So just tap, the climate control is going to turn on. So over here, you have your fan speed. So if you want your fan speed to be one, and it's also going to show the sign on the infotainment. So if I want my fan speed on one for the passenger, and I want it for two on my side, so I can obviously do that. Then you have the temperature over here. So there, this is for plus 23, 22, whatever you want, however you want. And then you could also control it from this side. It's a little bit cooler. Then you have heated seats at standard and you could obviously get the cool seats as an option at Audi Dhaka. Then you have AC, AC Max. If you press over here, the AC controls are over here again. Then you have the same as this side, this car, eh, has four zone climate control and it also has voice commands so if i just turn it on change the temperature to 24. i'll increase the temperature to 24 degrees see the car just changed my temperature and she, it also knows that i am speaking well over here and then you could also turn off the screen upper screen from here and then turn it back on wow over here you have the audi drive select so we showed you at the infotainment but you could also change it from here there you have a traction control you have the hazards button wow and then you have the heating glass at the front and the rear for uh, more fog at the windshield it's going to fully disappear that if you press this this is for the parking camera so come at the infotainment this is for the rear parking camera and this is for the 360 parking sensor if you press over here you have a lot of controls for this so here here there wow then over here this is for the self parking control wow and then they have a real volume control thank you audi like thank you for this and then the start button again so if you just press it the car is going to turn off and this is a cool feature like if i go out so it knows that my mobile phone is still on the wireless charger so it is warning me that get that phone then leave now let's show you the full gear knob so guys before we show you this part this is the key of the audi q7 same key as the a8 do you know why i said that because i love the a8 keys over here if you this full portion is gloss black i would like to get some wooden finish over here but you can't do that so press over here you have the cup holders with the ashtray so here and then just put that back there 
and then you have one cup holder with a cigarette lighter over here close this gloss black you have the gear knob over here really nice gear knob from audi you have the park over here and then you have drive then automatic shifting from here and then neutral and reverse this is for the electronic parking brake so there this is for the auto start stop and then you have it all over here that what gear you're in and then if you open this part so it comes front then it opens so you have the wireless charger that is an option and then you have the key holder over here or you could just put it at the soft place you have two charging points and a SD card slot that I don't think you guys can see really there and then you could close this and get this back for a soft center armrest and this is fully real leather now let's show you the driver's display guys come in let's show you the digital display or the virtual cockpit like Audi says so if you start the vehicle here's the virtual cockpit so start the vehicle there you go the virtual cockpit is on and you could also change the virtual cockpit however you want so first you have over here so view you could change it from here so there just for the date and time go once more down this is for some more this is for the battery stuff actually this is for the battery the temperature and stuff you have a lot of variation controls this is for the driver's assist like the cruise control of the car you can get a smaller or bigger you have the q7 right there with the fuel stuff so you have the rpm over here and then you have the speedo over here this is for the fuel this is for the temperature for the engine you can actually change so you can see the car is a dynamic now so it says dynamic with park the headlight is on that's why it's for the fasten your seat belts and the parking brake and this is a warning I don't know for what though there you could go you could change like your telephone stuff and the navigation but in Bangladesh uh, the navigation system has not been fully confirmed so over here this side this is for the uh, hazards so the integrators and then the high beam there and then over this side is for the full windshield wiper controls with the headlight washers wow now let's show you the full steering wheel so guys now let's show you the steering wheel so this is the steering wheel for the audi i love the steering wheel but if you get the s line you get a different steering wheel that is an option so over here you have the airbag with the horn with the audi logo and satin chrome covering wow you have multimedia controls and if you get the s line steering wheel you also have paddle shifters there's a full leather steering wheel with stitched and it is fully powered so it is a telescope steering wheel so it's going to come front and back so there it goes down there it goes up and there it comes to you it actually comes really far and then it goes back there and then there wow then you have the headlight controls over here this is for the turning of the air vent and then turning it on but i would wish it's the same as the audi a8 the electronic display then you have the headlight controls over here so turn off turn on there 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 and this is touch sensitive and then you have this wooden trim over here wow and then the build quality is fantastic then open this you have storage to put your wallet and stuff close this there you have the hood opener over here with the two pedals there wow now let's show you the door of the car so guys now let's show you the door so i'm going to show you the door so first look at the ambient lighting and the attention to detail so you have this wood over here the build quality is amazing like it's very good quality then you have the ambient lighting all the way that goes and then the satin chrome you have two memory seats on this particular vehicle then you have the lock and unlock over here you have the door opener that is very like it's very good quality then you have full leather strap over here and this is not the arcantara this is the leather over here too and the squeegee material here you have the full window openers over here and it all the way goes down at the front obviously and then there goes up this is for the outside mirror control so you could control it from here so there there and there and then this is like a cute thing on the vehicle 
Down here you have the boot opener, so it has automatic tailgate. So that's why. You have decent amount of storage over here, like your big bottle. Then you have the Bose sound system. So this is the high-end Bose sound system that's over here on the Audi Q7. Now let's show you the full panoramic sunroof. So guys, now we showed you the door. So this car has a full optional panoramic sunroof. So just press this button. The blind is going to open. And this is the same uh, size panoramic sunroof as the Bentley Bentayga. Because it's the same owner, VW Group, that's Volkswagen. So Audi and Bentley, the same thing. Like This is the same panoramic sunroof on both of the cars. So the full blind is open. Then press this. The full glass roof is going to open. And then the light is going to come in so this is the first one if you just press again it's going to give you more so for closing it there you go just hold it there and then the glass is going to close and then you still have the light so done showing the panoramic sunroof over here you actually have two lights that are touch sensitive for turning on and off you have the voice command over here this is for the sunroof and light controls wow now before we go on the rear seats let's show you this part so look at the air vent it all the way starts from here all the way goes and goes and goes but this is just for decoration this is actually not the same air vent as this then you have the gloss black with the quattro with the ambient lighting inside that you can see a red color over there then gloss black wood open this you have storage over here a decent amount of storage down there there you go and the front both of the seats are powered wow audi that is a common thing on a q7 and the both of the seats are leather seats now let's go on the rear seats so guys now we're on the rear seats of the suv so there you go the south door close so first you have a center armrest over here so get this down whoa Press this, you have the cup holders and it is really soft. Close this, the middle seat is actually comfortable, it's not hard or anything. And then you obviously have the transmission up because of the 8 speed transmission. So, yeah, comfortable. And then, if I come on this seat, it's comfortable over here too. You have seat pockets over here. Wow. And then you can obviously enjoy the panoramic sunroof. You have a grab handle over here with a light over here that's touch sensitive then you have a coat holder over here the coat holder uh, here and you have the ac vent on the door that i'm going to show you on that side so let me come over here there you have the ac vent and the coat holder over here then you have the doors so if i come a little more out you have privacy blinds for them so there and then your personal privacy then if you press here you have the ashtray over here that's and then the window control the door then the same as the front the both sound system with more larger door pockets wow so guys we're not done yet for the rear seats you have the four zone climate control so you, this is for just off just put your finger over here this is for the fan speed so there this is for the climate so there this is for the climate over here this is for the fan speed for this side and then you have auto for both there and these are the air vents you have a cigarette lighter and a 12 volt charging socket down there wow and then you can also open the privacy blind and close it so there and then there boom yeah now we're done with the interior let's show you the side profile so guys now we're done with the interior you also have the ambient lighting over here too nice and then you have the soft door close on this particular vehicle so there and then it's going to pull it in wow now let's show you the full side profile so guys now we are on the side profile so these are the wheels so these are the optional because it start at 18 inch up till to 22 so these are the 20 inch wheel so these wheels are 285 45 and 20s so the rims are 20 and it's a 10 spoke rim i really like this rim and it's on air suspension on the options so if you don't want the air suspension they still have that version for the car so if you come back you have the 
sidestep over here that you I don't think so you need because the car's height is not that much so you're going to hit your toes with that soft door close do the work and then this all the way goes till down you have the quattro written with this black trim over here well then you have this full black trim changed by the chrome so if you don't get the black pack you get chrome but if you get the black pack it doesn't have the chrome so the chrome all the way goes with the roof rail up here so there amazing and the rear wheels are same as the front but this particular car is the quattro all-wheel drive that's the all-wheel drive variant and the mirrors are fully carbon fiber this is an option for the car and they have blind spot monitoring so carbon fiber with the blind spot monitoring if i turn on the headers real quick soft door close you have the hazards over here with the amazing carbon fiber treatment wow now let's show you the rear of the car so guys now i'm going to go at the interior of the car let's turn on the rear lights so let's start the vehicle first so foot on the brake press the start button there the car has been started hazards this is for the full light This is for the reverse, so so there you go. This is for reverse. Put her back to park. There you go. Now let's show you the tail lights. So close the door. Soft door close is going to handle the work. So these are the new tail lights for the Q7 because the last generation, the last Q light is going to be over at the right side or the left side of the video. So this is the newer tail light for the Q7, and then you have this. Uh, satin chrome all the way goes to the other side down here you have the 55 tfsi quattro so why this car is uh, not going at uh, europe site it's going because the tail lights are on the tailgate but you have another light down here with reflectors so this is going to go on the europe because in europe market if the tailgate opens if some car comes up and run you up because they're psychopaths you still have this light down here good job audi you have the q7 over here with the reversing camera with a reversing camera washer right beside it there and then you have the lights for the number plate slot you have the audi logo over here with the satin chrome with the q7 over here and then the reflectors with the light then the windshield wiper is identical to the bentley bentega because obviously vw group so look at the quality so you could say to your friends my car's windshield wiper is from a bentley bentega that's just a joke okay and then the rear windshield is a privacy glass that's a really nice job and you have the brake light over here with the rear spoiler that extends to the side now in every car days and then if we come down you have the rear diffuser so there but this is not the s-line version you could obviously get the s-line version the price is going to go up then you have the rear uh, diffuser with black over here because of the black back then you have the real functional exhaust over here down here nice now let's open the rear tailgate so guys now we're almost at the end of the video so let's open the tailgate so let's press two times on the key the automatic tailgate is going to open there you go and then the partial cover is automatically going up cool feature for the new audi so putting the key on my pocket if you open this part first so here you have the bose sound system with the tire repair kit there whoa really good engineer engineered and this has a, a 60 40 distribution not a 50 50 so front 60 rear 40 distribution then you have a lot of storage thus how much liters of space is going to be written and then over here because of the air suspension you can adjust the ride height from here so if you press this one this is for the up so the car is going to get raised up there and then after you're done put this the car is going to get lowered and then it's going to get lowered for you can put storage that's easily to get that up you have the first aid kit over here there and because this is the authorized dealer from audi dhaka and bangladesh you have everything that's obviously everything and obviously brand new and then you have a lot of storage 
special cover over here you could get a seven seater version of this car that is an uh, option if you open this this is the same as the porsche cayenne that i reviewed so the emergency triangle is inside there so then you could close it and lock it and then the same buttons as the cayenne at the and the bentley bentega press it the power tailgate is going to close and see the lights over here are going to come over here boom there you go now we're at the end of the video make sure you're subscribed hit the like button enjoy the close view So guys, you guys just came from the close view. So before we end the video, you we forgot to show you the fuel cap. So here's the and the capacity is 22 and a half gallon or 85 liters. So over here, and then after filling up, close it. And you could also get an e-hybrid for this, uh, a plug-in hybrid that is the 60 TFSI, but this is the 55 TFSI. So guys, this particular car is barrack brown, and that we did the review. So the price of this car is 1 crore 86 lakhs. BDT but for the country setting that's 1 crore 60 lakhs so that's for the reference if you need any type of Audi cars link in the description for their Facebook page and the address and phone numbers everything is going to be at the description make sure make sure you're subscribed hit the like button thank you so much for watching the video but don't leave it yet we are at 10k subscriber right now we have to say thank you the people that helped us first auto BD they helped us very much and very thanks to uh, Akib Islam Rafsan Bayas. He's the one that from zero to now that 10k he helped me from zero to one. And then some other people like Land Cruiser Club, Range Rover Club, Audi Club, everyone. And then the almost I forgot Bangle Cars. They also helped me a lot. See you at the next one. Peace.